Hey everybody, it's me Deidre. I just wanted to go ahead and do another really quick and easy Christmas card today. And this is what it's going to look like once it's all done. I think it's really pretty. Um, let me go ahead and get started here. What I've done was I took a piece of Whisper White cardstock and it's uh, five and a half by uh, eight and a half piece of um, cardstock and then I made my first layer and it's five and a quarter by four inches that's the first layer then the second layer is going to be five by three and three fourths and that's going to lay right on top of the blue layer which the blue I believe is Knight of Navy so let me go ahead and get started basically with the Knight of Navy what I did was I took my little sponge here my Knight of Navy sponge and I used the Knight of Navy ink pad. If I can get it open, it doesn't want to work with me today. There we go. Inked up my little sponge a little bit. And just inked up the sides. Let's see if I can get that in view for you. Just inked them up to kind of give it that rustic feel, I guess you could say. Sorry for my hand being in the way. Like I said, I'm trying different camera views and this one is obviously not a good one, so <laughs> I apologize. Okay. So there you have it. It's barely there, but you can still see it. You can't really see it on the camera, but it's there. And now what I did from the Dear Santa stamp set, this is it right here. I'm going to take the little snowflake. And I'm going to place it on my clear seed block. As you can see here. What I do is I just press it on there for a few seconds, get a good tight seal on there. And then what I'm going to do is ink it on my Knight of Navy stamp pad, make sure it's good and inked up, and just randomly, just randomly. place the snowflakes on the paper. You can even have some going off of the paper. Okay, now I'm going to clean my stamp because I'm going to go ahead and add some different color snowflakes on here. So that's the Knight of Navy stamp set, or stamp pad color. Now I'm going to use Always Artichoke. And do the same thing. Get it good and inked up. Just randomly stamp some snowflakes on there. Okay. Clean the stamp again. Close that stamp pad. And now I'm going to use the chocolate chip stamp pad. And there again, do the same thing. Just kind of have them randomly throughout the, the base of the card. I just love these colors together. Okay. And now I think I'm done with my snowflakes. And now what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to keep my, oh by the way, this is what it's going to look like once it's all done. Like I said, I'm sorry about the ca camera angle on this one. I'm going to use the chocolate chip, I'm going to keep that out. And I'm going to use the Christmas postcard stamp, I'll show you that to you. This one right here. 
and I'm going to go ahead and ink that up. What I like to do on this one is just turn it upside down and just tap the ink on it since it's such a big stamp. Tap, 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 tap. Make sure it's really good and inked up. There's a lot of little teeny areas on the stamp, so I want to make sure it's really good and inked up. Okay. See, it's pretty good and inked up. Now I've cut another piece of Whisper White cardstock. I'm just going to stamp the Christmas postcard onto this little piece of Whisper White cardstock. Okay, get it on there really good. I'm going to clean that stamp really quick. Okay, and there you have it. Merry Christmas. I just love that stamp. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Always Artichoke, reopen it, and get my little sponge, the Always Artichoke sponge. And now I'm going to sponge the sides of the Merry Christmas just to give it a little pop off that page, off the snowflake page. Just a little bit something different. And there you have it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and shut, close my stamp pads now. Now I'm going to get my snail and I'm going to get my snowflake, snowflake page and I'm going to adhere that to the Knight of Navy page that's already adhered to the card itself. And I try to get it on there as straight as I can. There we go. And now I'm going to take some of the dots here. And I put quite a few of these on the back of the Merry Christmas. Let's see what I'm doing. just because it is a larger piece of paper and I want it to stick off the page quite a bit. I want to use quite a few of the Stampin' Dimensionals. For some reason they just don't want to come off today. There we go. And now this I want to put right in the middle of the card. Go ahead and get that up there so you can see. There we go. Merry Christmas. And that's just a really quick and simple, easy to do Christmas card. And that's it. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!